<laughs> I got what? No, I like to play with the vegans with Gus, and he got banned yesterday. It really sucks. Still sporting a tattoo on your arm, despite the prescriptions against it in the Bible? Well, sir, the Bible doesn't say that. Yes, it does. Well, sir, is the Bible true? I'm sorry. You're the one that thinks the Bible's true. Well, sir, then if you don't think it's true, why do you care? Because you're supposed to live by the rules in the Bible. I, I do, sir. sir. I do, sir. And guess what? Because there are, we're because of the Bible. Because we can have the Bible, we can know uh, truth, Gussie. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Without yeah, yeah, yeah. the God yeah. of the Bible, you cannot know anything. That doesn't change the fact that the Bible says no tattoos, and you're wearing a tattoo. Yes, you've been funny. smoking some extra strong crack today, haven't you, Gussie? <laughs> Even See, are, the fact of the matter is, sir, we've had this too? discussion numerous times, and you don't like the answer that the Bible says. Well, you don't the like Bible the Bible says, says do not cut on yourself or mark on your body as <laughs> for the dead, to worship the dead or to worship false gods. That's not what the it Bible says. doesn't say anything about not having That's a decoration. Not what it, says. it says not to worship a dead god Says or a dead relative, a sir. Temple. And since I don't do that, do not I pollute don't your have body to worry about it. Because it's a temple. Do not pollute your body. Do not fill your, your skin full of strange substances. Do not pollute your body, for it is a temple. Well, sir, uh, again, so the Bible is quite clear. I've already quoted you what Scripture says. That's the right. scripture but says that God by other is the one who created us. He scripture created our versus bodies scripture. as evidence. For Gussie, Gussie, Gussie. Scripture Gussie. versus scripture. Gus, who's going to win? Uh, your, your crack overdose is really evident today. Scripture so versus scripture. Calm down. Make fun of me all you want, Lardo, but at the end of the day, scripture versus scripture. <laughs> What's make fun of me all you want there, Lardo, but at the end of the day, you're going to hell, Gussie. Arr, baby, baby, baby. But you're ha, coming ha, with ha. me. You're coming with me because you're a hypocrite and a liar. Arr, yeah, arr. If you don't follow the rules and so you're going to hell. You got this, Mr. Batman. It says right in the book. The very book enjoy that you that choose. In hell. The very book that you pick and choose. Well, no, what sir. I don't have to worry about that because I am forgiven. You know, even if it was wrong to get a tattoo, even if that was the case, you see, the God of the Bible forgives sin when you repent, even if it even was. Even if it was wrong the case. to torture that baby, the well, God of the Bible. Second, even if it sin. was the case that it's wrong to get a tattoo, which uh -huh. it is not, uh -huh. and I've proven that biblically, but uh -huh. even yeah, if it no, was yeah. the case, no, yeah, the I mean, God of the Bible you're going, you're going forgives repent, sin. And because repent, he can forgive your sin if you have a broken and contrite heart, the uh -huh. God of the Bible loves a repentant, broken heart. And but he will change your heart and give you yeah, a yeah, heart yeah. of flesh shouldn't a heart that breaks for what breaks his, shouldn't sir. And then you can be forgiven of all your sin, yeah. including your homosexuality, Gussie. Should, shouldn't any... Re oh, that's a oh. funny one. Uh, can anybody who's seen you wandering around your... Anybody who's seen you wandering around your garage in a pair of go-go shorts and a sleeveless t-shirt would think you're closer to queer than I am. However, that being the case, shouldn't any part of a repentance involve you removing the tattoo from your body? You see, Gussie... The God of the Bible, the one the that God you reject, God. but you know, Bible, that God the reject, is the, the one that, one that know, can yeah. forgive you of your homosexuality, of your pornography, when did I become of queer? your masturbation, sorry, of your when did fornication. I become when did the I become God of the Bible can forgive when you of all gay? those things that you've done and you know well, that are wrong, Gussie. The all these things when did I that you know gay? that are wrong, that you cannot justify Jim, Jim, anything Jim, Jim, right Jim, 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 without Jim, Jim, the God of the Bible, Jim, 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 the one that you sin Jim, against Jim, every day Jim, Jim, and reject Jim, 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 him. He's the one that can forgive Jim, you, Gussie, Jim, Jim, forgive Jim, you of all Jim, your perverted Jim, Jim, lifestyles. Jim, 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 When did I become gay? When, when, when did I, when did I become gay? Did God tell you I was gay? What else does God tell you? <laughs> so when, when, question, Mr. Batman. When, when did when did you yeah, find out sir. I was, when I find out I was you? queer? How I do you know I'm gay? How do you know I'm gay? Forgiven. Sigma, I got you this. I got this. Sigma, Sigma, I got this. How do you no, know I'm sir, gay? No, sir, I do not. How do you know I'm gay? How do you know I'm gay? He knows it by muting you. He's never met me before. How do you know? You see, how sir, do... I'm married. I'm muting. And my wife and I are perfectly faithful to one another. Jim, Jimmy, Jim, Do you know Jimmy, what the Bible Jimmy, says Jimmy, about that? Jimmy, 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 the Bible Jimmy, says Jimmy, that the wife's Jimmy, body does not belong to her, but question. belongs to the husband. Jimmy, 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 it also Jimmy, says the exact converse. Jimmy, Jimmy, it says Jimmy, Jimmy, that also the, the husband's Jimmy, body Jimmy, does not Jimmy, belong Jimmy, to him, Jimmy, 
but yeah. belongs yeah. to the yeah. wife. Yeah. You see, yeah. sir, our bodies yeah. belong to each yeah. other yeah. in yeah. order to Corn fulfill palm. our humanness that God Corn designed palm. us to have. Corn right. Our sexual desires. How do you know I'm Time gay? Out. How, no, what was I it that, what was that told you I was gay? Because I certainly hold on. never said anything Toast like wants that. a bite. Gus, hold on. Toast wants no, no, a bite. I, I want, no, no. This, no, no. Because this, this is what he, he does. Isn't, this he, isn't he all skates, you got. Come on. Yeah, Toast he, wants he, a bite. He, skate, he skates from question to question to question. This is how he gets away from answering any of them. He just waits until the and next now, one. You can't, you can't wait anymore. Toast, Toast has a trap for those skates. You, you, got you. it. Toast got it. Okay. So I can go now? Yes. We're good. Hey, Batman, can we do some Bible trivia? It's Mr. Batman, sir. Oh, sorry, Mr. Batman. Can we do some Bible trivia? I went. I today we were studying Matthew twenty-seven in church today, so we were kind of going over it, and I learned a few things. And I was, Great. I'm I'm glad you did, sir. Uh, but you know what? I don't do. I don't put the Word of God, the God that I love, honor, and cherish. I don't put that word on trial. Pre-sub no, 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 cop out. I'm glad you agree, sir. So, did you have another Pre question? Pre-sub cop out. I was just, kind of like a little Bible study for a second. No, sir, I don't do Bible studies with non-believers, sir. He's a believer. Ooh. Except when you're No, sir, I, I reject that. Time. Thank you very much. For Why playing. do you reject that? Because there's oh, all kinds of people on here that say that, sir. All what kinds of people come on here and say, I'm a believer. Let's talk about sweet. the Bible. Now, yeah, I'll talk you're about the weaknesses of the Bible, the which you cannot yeah, withstand. Sure. I'll talk about the foundations of the Bible that you have to have in order to have you're a functionality, bad, babbling, a functional sir. worldview. But, sir, I will not actually go in and dissect the Bible with you, a non-believer who rejects it as the sir, absolute foundation of your church learning about Matthew, you dumb fuck. Great, great. And you need to repent or perish or you're going to hell. <laughs> Why? How is that relevant? This guy, right? He, he was guy. at church. He read about some shit. And he says, hey, fellow great, Christian. Great, great. You know what he should do? He should, talk to his, he should talk to his brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah, you are in that church brother. about you what he learned. So that's not what he's asking for, sir. That's not what he's asking about. Do you know what he's asking about? I do. You don't even know what so he's asking because you didn't even hear the verse. Yeah, you need to stop just cutting people off. Go ahead and answer his question, Mr. Batman. That you already know the answer to. Toast, could you ask it again? I, I mean, apparently I'm not his brother in Christ, so, you know, who cares, right? Doesn't matter. It's pretty disgraceful. Toast, I can't believe you're not a Christian. Sir, I'm, how does the Bible so say that we will know one another? Toast left, by the way. By their fruits, dingus actually... egg. You're a piece of shit. Know each other Batman. by their fruits, Batman. Toast well, thank you. Jesus. And you know what? I so care enough about fruit, you to tell you the truth around. that you're going to hell so if you don't repent to the God room. that you already know. Yeah, I'm, I'd still like to know how, how, how you came to the decision that I was gay. I'd still like to really love to know that. Was it God that really told you the angel Gabriel? Did... did Jebediah himself come down and say, that guy there, queer as a $3. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. You have me confused with somebody who gives a flying crap. Okay, oh. that's nice. But you're the one that told me I was gay, so how did you know? Cringe. How'd you know I was gay, Jimmy? He doesn't yeah, you insisted on it quite strongly. Did, 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 God, like did, God tell you, did God tell you I was gay, Jimmy? Because, I mean, Mr. I'm not, Bat but, you know, did, did God Batman tell you? doesn't care to support his slander. He just it's doesn't terrible. care. Terrible. Well, what slander would that be, sir? That I'm well, gay. Well, you called Mr. Gusman a homosexual. On what basis? That he's a homosexual. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, he's, he's a homosexual because he's so a homosexual. What is the reasoning that he's, led you he to... He said it's because you are. He's because, because he's a gay. sinner that is unrepentant. Yeah, he watches pornography. He curses. He lies he against the God that he knows, you. sir. He's a lying, thieving, adulterous, fornicating fool, you. and he needs to repent. Jimmy. All these I can prove, sir. Jimmy, 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 who likes to put his pee pee in other boys' who daddies? Okay. Right. Same sexual. I don't like to same do that. Same sexual interest. I like girls. Mm, so, are you stating girls that it's can. wrong to girls. be a homosexual? 
Girls. Oh, geez. No, I'm not saying it's wrong at all. But that Are you stating, you sir, that it is wrong to be a homosexual? No, or is it really right to be a homosexual? And can you tell me, sir, relevant. can you tell me why would it be right or wrong no, to be a homosexual? And the problem has got me turned down. No, it's very relevant, relevant sir. It's, down. Down. it's very relevant. Mr. Batman, are you going to now, Mr. Batman? Are you going to apologize to Gus Tom for slandering him? Batman's playing. The whole issue is just that, again. sir. The relevance of sin. Gus is a sinner. Mr. He is Batman, a pervert. You are a slanderer. He is a homosexual fornicator. He is a self-lover, a lover of self, a masturbator. He needs to repent to the God that he knows. Just I like you do, sir. I'm not gay. I'm not a lot of you things, but I'm not gay. Lord, and I can support that. You see, I'm not a slanderer. You are. You think you're working for Jesus Christ when you slander online on Discord? I think I'm not you're slandering working for anybody, Satan. sir. I can prove exactly what I'm saying. Uh, no, you can't. We just went through that. You, yeah, I asked for support, gay. and you said that he's a liar. You said that he's a yes, sinner. Yes. But those things. You know what? If I was to ask, if I was to ask cycle. you, sir, could I ask you a few questions? I'll make, I'll make some statements about you, sir. Oh, I can yeah, prove yeah, that you're a liar. Oh, you yeah, like you want to slander? No, you no, want to no, slander no, me now because I'm getting in the way of your slander? I can prove to you, sir, that you are a liar. I can do that. There is no way in the world. I'll sit quietly. Sir, would you like for me to prove to you that you are a liar? I don't want to be slandered by you. Well, Black great, sir. I'm not slandering you. Slander no is making a statement that is not true. I'm actually right. making a statement that a is true. Not true. Actually, you've made a statement that's not true. Actually, slander is making a statement that's not supported you've, and that's you've unwanted said, you've by said that I'm gay. Okay, sir, I can, I can actually support my statement. Would you like for me to support my statement? Which one? That Gus is gay? Go right ahead. Yeah, anytime no, you want sir, to sir, that you're a liar. Have you ever told a lie, sir? No. Don't let That's him do that. Too cringe for me. I'm not going to have let you, you get have away you from ever, slandering Gus. Have you ever you black, told a lie, sir? You will mold. answer the question. You will oh. tell. You will tell this room how you came into the supposed knowledge that I'm gay. You see, you sir, will, you are a liar because you, you know you told sentence. a lie. I will talk you just lied, sir, just when you were in here talking about this. You know it. Until you and, sir, you know that there's right and wrong because the there has to be a God that gives you, you right or wrong. Question. Because without until the God that gives you right or wrong, it's only your opinion. You'll be blocked from talking at every opportunity until you answer this question. You will tell me. How it is you came to the supposed knowledge that I'm gay. You will do this now, or you will not be permitted to talk as long as I'm here and they let me talk. Which, granted, Tom will probably shut me up pretty soon, but until he does, you're going to be shut down. Awfully quiet he in have here. That. Jimmy, 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 Jim, Jim, Jim. You I think goof. I'm hearing crickets. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jim, Jim, Jim. Oh, you hear crickets because I have Jimmy, Gussie Jimmy, muted. Jimmy, yeah, it's he is got a mutant sinner yeah, that is a muted. homosexual, yeah, a sinner, yeah, fornicating yeah, yeah, yeah. master. Slander. Slander. Oh, look at the slander. Mr. Batman is a look criminal who's slander. known for touching little children on his bus. Yeah, yeah. You touch little hmm. kids on your bus. Uh, Mr. Batman is a dirty yeah. little uh, yeah, child yeah. molester. See, you see two people there. can play at that game. Do people Sir, I can back up my control. position, yeah, but unfortunately, you're not interested too. in me proving you a liar, you do. a thief, you a fornicator no, at heart. Yes, I can do all, all of that, sir, because I have the straight edge of God. I am the righteous man that the Bible talks about. The righteous man will judge all things with the righteousness of God's word. Not a chance. Not a chance. You are a vile human being, Mr. Batman, and you don't belong to be anywhere near children. Yeah, you don't. You yeah. When you told that girl on the bus that what happened to her was according to God's plan and that some good would come out of it because God had planned it that way, you are reprehensible, sir. You should have been taken out and beaten to within an inch of your fucking life. Had I been there, I would have laid assaults on you such that God himself would have gone, fuck me. Had he existed, which he doesn't, fuck you twice. <laughs> and then when I was finished assaulting you, I would take a, a suitably large, suitably sharp knife, preferably something surgical quality, and I would cut that cunting tattoo off you because I'm tired of the hypocrisy that it represents. Oh, repent or perish, you sinner. Oh, repent. Oh, come on, come on. He's singing now like Jesus. Thank you very much.
Uh, Mr. Batman, uh, we do not permit people to be members. It makes for a terrible impression. So I would ask that you, you know, you can turn him down, but you can't have him mute. Sir, um, are you saying it's okay for him to continuously talk over me, but then you're going to get on me for singing a little ditty to that asshole? Well, that was. That asshole. Was wow, that's so Christian of you. Um, we don't have. We, it's not like a karaoke hour or whatever. Well, great, sir. Then tell him to shut up. Are you a moderator? Is that what you're saying you are, sir? How Christian, eh? That's look at this Christianity. Hey, big, big chub, look at this Christianity on parade. Shut up, an asshole, and he's a homosexual, and... Batman, hey? yeah. well, great, sir. Then why don't you moderate and tell that asshole to shut up? Oof. I'll, I'll, I'll moderate the room if you need to uh, not have him mute. Certainly, sir. But I would like for you to not be a hypocrite. And, Did sir, when people are speaking asshole? over me, Did that, again, you would asshole? stop them yes, from did. speaking over he me. Did. Would you he do that, sir? Would you not be a hypocrite? You can't hear me speaking because he's a coward. Uh, but Yeah, I don't mind. That. I just, just started moderating. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. So, given That's that I've just started moderating the conversation, it's something that can only be done going into the chat. Could you ask Mr. Batman to please unmute me? Uh, do you have anyone else in the room? Batman? Nope, I sure don't. Yes, you do. You have me muted. Nope, I sure don't. Oh, I don't have to answer you, you liar. What about oh, I'm a liar too. Oh. Yes, ma'am, you are. You're a liar going straight to hell. You need to repent, ma'am. I absolutely, de I absolutely demand to Get be told to how, how Mr. Batman came to the knowledge that I was supposedly gay. Not all that oh. other stuff. Not all that other stuff, because the other stuff in the Bible is pretty hit near miss. But this is, but being gay is a specific form of sin. And not everybody is gay, even though everybody has sinned, not everybody's gay. So how did he this come is, to know? How did he come to know this, I was gay? This is really bothering Gus that you called him gay, Mr. Batman. Perhaps he hopes you're gay. Well, that's entirely possible. Maybe he's Maybe. seen that beautiful face. Maybe it's yes. a projection. Yes, it could be. You might want to close your... You might want to close your... Who's that? I don't know. Someone who's had a little bit much to drink, maybe. Because I want to close your fucking... <laughs> fucking... Yeah. You know, it's interesting because Jim and I actually had a very cordial uh, relationship, for lack of a better word, and he became quite angry with me when I asked him one question regarding the Bible. So then he started calling me Mr. Molly and then started calling me a liar. Mr. But for Molly? All the, yes, he calls me Mr. Molly or Mr. Blue. But for all these years, yeah, he and I have never had issue. I've been very polite, respectful to him and I don't know if he had like some fucking brain fart or some stroke. <laughs> what took place that day? But yeah, he lost his shit. Farts, and... farts on his brain, farts. <laughs> How is it losing my crap to tell you the yes. truth that you're a liar? Because you don't know me. And I do is, know you, ma'am. You reject the God of the Bible, and anybody that does that is a liar because the God of the Bible has made you know Him. Great, how prove it. How, how, how do you know I reject the God of the Bible? Because what is my I've religion? Heard you talk. Okay, and what is my what are my religious beliefs? Whatever makes you feel good. No. Really, my let me ask you a question, beliefs. then, Miss Molly. Miss Molly, is the my. Bible the perfect, inerrant, inspired word of the Creator to the creation, so we can know things to be true? Nope. Yes, it is inspired. Is it the perfect, inerrant, inspired? Word of God to his creation so we can know things to be absolutely true and absolutely right. Would nope. you agree with that statement? No, it's inspired. Aha. Uh -huh. See, therein lies the problem, ma'am. You're a liar. You want to choose the Bible like it's some kind of smorgasbord. It is not anything of the such. False. You either accept it 100% or you reject it. Ooh. Oh, do you stone unru unruly children? Hmm? 
Do you do yeah. eschew the wearing of multiple fabrics? And as such, you're a liar, ma'am. Repent your perish. On the, do you work on the, on the Sabbath? Please. Jesus said, if you are not with me, you are against me. That's exactly where you are, ma'am. You're not 100% with Jesus. You are against him, and you need to repent. Yeah, yeah. so do you. Prove it. Prove, why, I, I, actually, I don't understand, uh, Molly. I don't understand why the first question out of anybody's mouth with this isn't prove it. I don't understand. I, I just don't get it. Because he doesn't have, this is a fairy tale for adults. He doesn't have a shred of proof of any of this. He just, he mm -hmm. just keeps going. It, it falls down to two sources. The Bible, which is a Stone Age leaflet, okay, Stone Age survival manual, that's written by so many people. It's like a hooker traded her, uh, around the fucking Navy base, all right? By the time it's finished, there's so many different versions, so many different notions on the inside and outside of it. And meanwhile, on the other hand, he's got his faith. Right. That's that's it. That's all he's got. And that's why he's going pre up because he doesn't have evidence. There is no evidence. Right. The, even even Jesus no, himself, right. even Jesus himself said, blessed are those that believe and have not seen. Right. That's all he's got. So it's just his opinion. That's all it boils down to. It's his opinion. The money. So show us show us the an ounce of proof, an ounce of evidence. Can he you doesn't show have it. Can you prove the existence of God without the Bible? Nope. Even with the Bible, he can't prove the existence of God. Right. Well, I'm just saying that. So your only, quote, proof is a book. He has no proof at all. His proof is to, is to holler at you until you believe. Fake it till you make it. Well, There's no, as much support for the Christian God, God as there is fucking Pinocchio. I've, I've spoken to him and Darth Dawkins, and pretty much how both of them work is that they just want to win the debate. It's not about converting anybody to their faith. It's not about teaching yeah, it's, it's, anybody it's about It's about lovingly close ma closing mouths. Yeah, that's what the precept method does. Oh, I'm happy to teach, sir, if you want to listen. Loving, lovingly closing mouths. gratification that... and, and making other people ashamed. Right, that's exactly what a person who slanders also might do. Right. This slanderer. is all coming together. The puzzle of Mr. Batman is pretty obvious, right? He became, he became a Christian and tried to do it online. He got fucking Idol. shit shit on. Got a little bit of mold in his brain. And so he kept, he I'm kept happy to teach if you're willing to listen. You can't teach. You need to take teaching class. The state of Indiana would disagree with you. Oh, yeah? Who do you teach in the state of Indiana? What do you teach in the state of Indiana, Corn Pawn? Isn't it disabled class? The, th the thing is, you can't really address these people like disabled people. They're different. No, he, he, at different best he teaches disabled. Sunday school. Molly, we can hear sorry. you every time I you know, talk, girl. Sorry. No, at best he teaches Sunday school. At best. If you want to help somebody, you got to learn how to not put them on the defensive. Everybody here is on the defensive. Oh, no, like sir. You should be on the defensive. That's Knowing right. that your worldview does not answer any questions about the real world all around you, let alone no. just a few of them. No. Sir, no. your no. worldview, if no. you reject the... I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't done talking. I'm sorry. Moderator, hello. Oh. Thank you. Again, sir, again, uh, if like you reject the God of the moderator, Bible, like to call the then moderator what you have here is yeah. you have somebody like Gussie that loses his mind when he's told about his homosexuality, yes. about his pornography gay. and his fornication. You see, you gay. have somebody like this who knows that they're a sinner against the God that they know. They're going to hell for that. You know, the other thing, too, that I find interesting is that when he started hurling invective at me, that was the first thing he threw at me, that I was gay. Yeah. Yeah. Of all of the sins he could have, he could have, he could have attempted to convict me of. That was the first one out of his mouth. Well, so which Gus, is which very, one is, is which very one strange. is it? Well, is what's interesting is that is you are the only one in this himself. room. You are the only one in this room that has had any in a, inappropriate uh, contact with a child. Who me? No, no, Mr. Batman. No, oh, Gus, yeah. you should not have inappropriate contact with children. No, You're going to hell now for being a pedophile. Miss Molly just said you were a pedophile. No. 
You, miss you are so too. fucking lame. Oh, Miss Molly, how did you, how did you know, Miss Molly, that Gus was a pedophile? Can you tell me that? Why don't you have some guts, porn corn pone, and unmute me? Miss Molly, can you tell me how did you know that Gus was a uh, pedophile? Yeah, you know what? Gus you deserve not to have a your pedophile. Oh, 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 really? you, oh, however oh, really? you have had really? uh, How do you know that, Miss Molly? How do you know anything about me, Miss Molly? Because I've been You've completely open and honest about everything in my life, ma'am. And I yes. can tell you right now, no, I've not. never had inappropriate contact no, with not. children. As a matter of yes, fact, I love children enough to tell them the truth about yeah. the real world all around right. them. When it's the last thing in the world they should right. hear. And you're a liar, Miss Molly. You're going to I hell once not. again for lying against the God. Have you ever read in the Bible where it says about bearing false witness? Witness. That's what, what you, you just, just did. did against yes, me? and you should actually like what you, you should just did against me, Jimbo. In, you should actually take that into practice because you you just bore false driver. witness, ma'am, no, against sir. somebody you say no, sir, is a brother in Christ. Sir. I reject you as a, as a sister in Christ because no, I know you reject God. But the fact of the matter is, ma'am, you are a liar, and the truth is not in you. Jesus Himself said, "I would rather you be hot." Or cold, but because you are lukewarm, I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. This is what God says to those people like you who say not all not all the Bible is true, not all the Bible is the perfect and there and inspired word of God. I get to pick and choose which I accept and which I don't. And again, that is the sin of autonomy. That is idolatry. You are putting yourself in the place of God, ma'am, and as such you're going to hell. Repent or perish. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Do we still stone our uh, our wayward children? Do we still stone anybody? Do we still have, have the laws of the Sabbath? I mean, human beings pick and choose what parts of the Bible they want to follow all the time. It says that the wages of sin are death. We execute people for sin. Come on. We allow our parents how about the, how about the sin of, of righteousness? Because you are not self righteous. You are a righteous person. Are you not? You stand, you put yourself above other people. You pass judgment. Where in the Bible does it say man can pass judgment on another man? Well, he's under, he thinks he's undertaking the Great Commission. He thinks he's here to spread the good word. For one thing, we already know what the so-called good word is. I don't know why he wastes his time here. But the only thing for, he's here to spread is slander. But for but for another thing, another thing, another thing, instead of spreading the good them. word, instead of actually spread the other thing is that instead of actually spreading the good word, instead he gets into the trenches and he and he fights dirty with people. And every time he does, he knows he sins. He knows he sins the same way he accuses us of being sinner. But does he stay away from here? Does he walk away from from places that he knows are going to drag him down into sin? Does he keep himself from being dragged into sin? No, he treats his religion like a credit card. He goes in, he comes in here, does all the sin that he thinks is necessary or that he feels like, and then he goes and just prays the sin away later on. I don't think that's how it works, Jim. I don't think that's how it works at all. Love you, Gus. You're a beefcake. So, Jim, where in the Bible does it say that you have the authority to pass judgment on people and condemn How much you want to bet Molly's got you turned down? Probably. I want to know. From For a soldier of Christ, you're a bit of a coward. Don't have think I I'd want you in my too? army. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, sir. Do you have a question? Yeah, yes, but the other two know. people have been turned down. Now, see, Sigma, see, here's the problem. You know, in, in order to just let you have a conversation with him, that allows him to carry on his behavior. And since the mods haven't seen fit to sanction him for his behavior, we have no choice but to buttress against it by not permitting him to have conversations. Oh, I see. Did you have a question, sir? He's not talking to you, Jimbo. You're done. You're done. Until they shut me up or until you get lost, you're done. You don't take too kindly to slanderers or boundaries parts. So, Jim, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but where in the Bible does it say that you are an authority to pass judgment on people and condemn them? You see, the Bible says it is true. 
it is the self-evident, self-justifying word of the Creator to His creation. It says no, specifically that the righteous you. man will judge all things with so the righteous, righteous word of God. So Did you, you know that there's an person. entire book in the Bible known as the Book of Judges that tells yes, us do. exactly how to judge other humans according to the perfect standard yeah. of God? Yes, the word it, for there it is. is. And so the problem with your mentality is, is you don't seem think. to think that God's word is written in stone. Why do you it's think not. God etched the Ten on Commandments with his own finger in stone? I think it has something to do with the fact that he can do it and nobody else could. So, mm -hmm. again, when you reject the Bible as your perfect mm -hmm. standard, you cannot know anything, Mr. Molly. The Bible was written by man, so therefore it cannot be perfect, because man is not perfect. No, sir. The Bible was inspired by God. Um, See, God breathed the, the Bible. God exactly. breathed the Bible inspired. into holy inspired. men of old who were led by the inspired. Holy Spirit to write in, down his word so we could have it today. And anyway, the book inspired. of Judges is the seventh. The book of Judges is the seventh book of the seventh. Bible, which means it's Old Testament. I thought all you Christians just chewed that shit for what Jesus said. And see, he won't respond because he doesn't have the guts. Because he knows as soon as I figure out that he can hear me, I'll start asking him exactly what, what special revelation was given to him to tell him I was gay. And who were in the Old Testament, though, who were those laws uh, directed to, towards? The Jews. Well, sir, the laws of the Old Testament really depends on which ones you're referring to. Are you referring to Exodus chapter 20? Because Let's those are the judges. universal laws given to all people Let's throughout all time. Because not okay, only did God give those to the people of the Old Testament, but God, Jesus Christ actually validated and recited each and every one of those Old Testament Who laws. Were the Ten now, if you're also talking towards. about how the nation of Israel, God wanted to keep them unique, holy, and set aside, set apart for a special purpose, outside of being uh, tainted and polluted by the mm -hmm. cultures of the day, that mm -hmm. was what's known as the dietary laws of the Jewish nation, the nation of Israel. That a, was a given to that specific dietary. people group dietary during dietary that specific time frame. There was clothing laws, clothing lo yeah, laws on exactly. slavery, laws yes, yes. on clothing on laws, uh, dietary oh, laws, no, no, no. how you could cut your hair, all these no, no, no. different laws, all these different dietary restrictions, things like that, were given to no, no, the no, nation no, no, of Israel no, no. during a particular time no, no. frame no, no, no. in order to keep them unique and holy and separate so they could mm -hmm. be known separately from all the other people in those nations. Mm -hmm. And who were the Ten Commandments directed towards? They were directed towards supposedly everybody, even though they were only given to his people. People, exactly. Which is interesting. Because, you know, by the way, so, as to why he wrote it on stone, he wanted to last and there was no, there was no paper. That's an internal critique, not an external one. Yeah, the the paper they had back in the days, it wasn't really that great, was it? No, it was... You well, that was what so, makes the Bible so unique. Because, again, we know that there's not no autographer left today. There's no possibility of that. But there were so many copies made in such a, a frantic hurry to make these copies, and they were spread out across the Roman Empire in such a fervent degree. We know that we can actually check these differences, these manuscripts against one another and weed out the variances so we can know exactly what the original document said because of all these manuscripts. That's hilarious. And of course, that doesn't take into account for one minute that maybe all of the manuscripts could have been wrong. It doesn't take into account for a second. It says that if we make enough copies of something, one of them is bound to be right. Unbelievable. Or if you compare enough copies of something, the mistakes will all even out. That's not that, that's not true at all. The, I wish you were a teacher. You could conduct a very interesting experiment with your kids that would prove to you that just because a whole bunch of people compare different copies of the same 
inerrant text, if it was inerrant to begin with, which there's no guarantee that it was, because you're talking about God using imperfect people to write a perfect text. Good luck with that. But you could you could do that experiment. I guarantee you, there's no way on earth that you could get those 30. You couldn't get those 30 people to come up with a single inerrant text by osmosis. You can't friggin' get the entirety of Jewry to do it. Much less all of the Gentiles and, and Christians that came afterwards. Molly, you're sucking again. Sorry about that. No, that was Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. See, I always find it interesting. I always like to go back to the word inspired by God. Inspired is an interesting word. Yeah. Inspired would leave to have license to be creative. What does the word inspired mean? Let's go to the dictionary. Yes. Inspiration. God breathed, God breathed the Holy Spirit to lead holy men of old to write down his word so we can know what he would have us to say. Again, or would have us to know. Inspired. Again, Mr. Molly. Of because, extraordinary because, quality as if arising because, from eternal because creative you, and, uh, well, Here's what I would ask you to do. Also look at the root words. Inspiration. Okay. That, that inspiration means breathed God in. breathed. Again, look at the root words, ma'am. The fact of the matter is inspiration is God breathed. Is God all powerful, Miss Molly? Is your God all powerful or is he not all powerful? The etymological fallacy. As breathed in. So to take something in. God admits to himself and to everybody all the time in the Bible that humanity is imperfect. Is your God all powerful, imperfect. Mr. Molly? Stop calling her Mr. Molly. Oh, is your is. God all powerful, Molly? Yes, my God is all powerful. Oh, so but your God can't convey his message to people? My God did not write the Bible. He also... He also oh, a, well, whose God did write the circle. Bible? He also can't make a square circle. How do you know anything basket? about your God, Miss Molly? Well, Miss How do you Ms. know Ms. anything about God at all if God has not shown it to you? Shown what? Miss Molly, how do you know anything about the God who created you unless he revealed it to you? How do you know anything without his revelation? All I can do is speculate, assume, and wonder. Yes, and again, but you're going to assume, speculate, and wonder that when I say the Bible is absolutely true, that's absolutely false. You're going to call me a liar because I'm going to take the Bible at its word, face value for what God says it is. The perfect, inerrant, inspired word of the creator to his creation so we can know things to be true. And you're going to tell me that you don't know anything, yet I'm absolutely wrong. Do you see a problem with that? It yeah, can't be inerrant if it's yeah. inspired. I don't assume anything. I use you science. Science use word. observation. You science use experimentation. Sir, sir, why are you talking over me? Sir, well, I, I don't assume question. anything, I'm sir. I don't, uh, that, sir, that you I, again, you're speaking over me. Rebuttal. Why are you speaking over me, sir? I'm trying to talk go, here. Go ahead, Jim, and then when you're done, let me talk, okay? Let me ask you a quick question, Jim. When have I ever attacked you on your beliefs? When oh, I man, it doesn't matter. No, no, it doesn't no. matter. My, my belief not. happens to be true. No, That's that why you don't attack question. it. My no. belief happens to be true. That's why no. you do not attack it. Your belief is patently false. That is why I attack it. Because you're an asshole. She attacks your belief because you're an asshole, because you beat people. My belief is demonstrably true, and that's why you do no, not attack not it. True. Your belief yeah. is there demonstrably is false, and that's why I do attack there it. There is nothing demonstrably mm -hmm. true about your belief. If you so, can't show it, you don't know it. My questioning and asking, in your opinion, is attacking? No, not at all, ma'am. You can question mm -hmm. all you want. But the question cannot be, is the word of God holy, perfect, and true? It has to be on that foundation that you say, I question how so God did this, but I know God did it because God to tells me he did it in his perfect and holy word. Yeah. You're That's allowed to question. Jim. You're allowed to question so long as you don't ask a question. They're 
not ready for it. And when you it. reject God's word as your perfect foundation for knowing anything, then you reject knowledge altogether and no, cannot we know don't. anything. No, we don't. What do the Chinese do? Good, very. Despite the fact that the Catholic Church is a growing entity there, there's still millions and millions of those people that don't know the Judeo-Christian God. And yet they're as innovative technologically. I mean, look at the Japanese. Most of them are Shintos or Buddhists. And yet they're probably one of the most innovative people on the earth. So don't tell me that you can't have knowledge or intelligence unless you somehow have it. Give, give, give me a fucking break. Western Europe Christocentric nonsense. So, Batman, I have a question for you. Good luck. If somebody never heard about the uh, about God, right, would they still be held accountable for it? Would they go to hell for not believing? Well, sir, if that was the case, mm -hmm. and the person never had any knowledge of the creator of the universe who created him and held him accountable to his laws, mm -hmm. and he didn't know those laws either, then no. Okay. That would it would be wrong. It would be wrong well, for then, God to send well, that person to hell. But here's the, the problem: in the, world for the Bible people. tells us that there's nobody that has an excuse. Oh, Everybody bullshit. knows oh, the God okay. of the Bible. Bullshit. I that's, mean, that's if bullshit. you don't know, if you live in some remote island and you never heard about Christianity, you know, you're not really uh, held accountable. Um, Matt, Matt Dillahunty talks may, about may a I point of something people. out, sir. Matt um, it's not about knowing about Christianity. It's not even no knowing about the name of Jesus whatsoever. Christ. That's how you get salvation, sir. But you and everybody else on this planet has enough yeah. information to be guilty of their sin yeah, because God has me? given you a conscience. A and conscience. that conscience gives you the ability oh. to know right and wrong. Oh, and I... even with just the knowledge of the conscience, oh. you sin against the God that you know. Oh. Oh really? So you don't know what the God is, but you sin against it. You don't know. And if and by the way, if we don't send if we don't send missionaries to this place, so far all they know is they feel guilty, but they don't know why. So they don't have the means for their own salvation, right? They don't have the means for their own salvation, and there's nobody to 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 give them salvation, right? And so now they're going to hell, and whatever. I guess that's just a few that were, that got met, met, left behind. I mean, this is so fucked up. Is it just me, or does anybody else feel like this conversation about religion is holding up more interesting conversation topics? Oh, please. Anytime he opens his mouth, he holds up more interesting topics. Well, sir, what would you he like to talk about? Opening his mouth when he yeah. <laughs> what would you Wait, like so, to talk about? I'm so simply being asked Jim, questions. Jim, what would Jim, you like to talk question. about? I have a question. So, yes, yeah, sir. Okay, since Jews are the chosen people of God, according to your worldview, what does that signify about their uh, salvation? Well, they were not chosen to be saved, sir. You know that, right? Yes, yes. I was just making sure you knew it, too. Great, great. Just making sure, sir. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. Uh, I of uh, the Jew and the Jew uh, are the example uh, of what God can do uh, in terms of uh, fidelity, but uh, they are not the exclusivity because, uh, as you know, uh, now God is for everyone, but it was a test and an example of uh, his love, I think, his pact with uh, the Jews. So, Mr. Batman, do you think video games are a sin? Not shit, I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the server. Hey, Mr. Batman, uh, God doesn't exist. I want you to know. Oh, great. How do you know that? Because he's never done anything for me. Really? Are you not alive right now? I am alive right now. Great. How did that happen? Uh, my parents uh, had sex. Excellent. You know biology too. Love it. Now, how did their parents get here? They also had sex. So, again, you're understanding that you were contingent upon your parents, and they were contingent upon their parents, 
Now, wait a minute. This goes all the way back to the very first two sets of people, the very first two people that were, the very first parents who were, Adam and Eve. Well, who were they contingent upon? I thought it was Adam and Steve. Uh, well, I'm not familiar with the, with any of that, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, well, let me ask you a question, sir. Are you familiar with any science? Yeah, I mean, I'm familiar with uh, the, the story, but I don't buy it, maybe I should say. Okay, so, great. Well, how about science? Do you know any science, sir? Do sure, you know anything sure, about sure, biology? Sure. Yes. Great. Are you familiar about scientific laws? Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. Are you familiar with the scientific or natural law of biogenesis? Yes. Great. What is it? Uh, that's abiogenesis. Not just what is the law uh, of biogenesis, would you, sir? Would, would somebody tell this fat fuck that it's abiogenesis? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I mean, my understanding is it's how, uh, how I, 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 maybe I, I'm not familiar. I probably wouldn't be able to articulate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I understand. Most people who say it that quickly have never really heard of it. Uh, the law of biogenesis is not taught in public schools today because it actually um, invalidates not a law. evolution. There is a there is natural no law, a law, and a natural law is a pattern there observed in nature sense. repeatedly and exclusively there without is, contradiction. No We've never seen this not be this case, sir. So again, this there natural law is science. called the law there of biogenesis. No the it's law of biogenesis states that life can it's only come right. from previous life. Are you with, familiar with this now, sir? Yes. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. That, that's not a law. Great. So, since we know that that scientific law, the law it's of biogenesis, states that life can only guy. come from previous life, it's not. Sir, are you stating that without God, how do we get here? Well, God's not I, alive. I don't. I don't think wait, anyone. Wait, wait, dude, 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 God's not alive. I don't think anyone knows, uh, Mr. Oh, Batman. I know, sir. Would you like for me to explain it to you? But, uh, Mr. Batman, yes, uh, I would. Uh, not the same fact, uh, as the matter, because you know there is uh, atoms and protons and neutrons, and you know the um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I cannot understand a word you're saying. All I'm hearing is... Th -th 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 -th. So, um, just go oh, ahead and talk wow. to somebody else and get That's a translator. Wow. Now, would, would you like to get ahead of me, how Christian Mr. Was ACC, how AAC, Christian would you like for me to explain to you how, how this works? Christian works? was that? Yes, please, I would. How I would, Christian did not? No, no, don't, 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 don't let this great. go. Great, we're great. That. I'd be happy to, sir. That, that Since girl, we girl, know that, that we have to use only, science. and That girl's only crime, that girl's only crime was that she came from continental France. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Parfois, nous sommes pas gentils encore. Dude, merci, really? uh, Gus. Uh, C'est rien. Merci. Uh, I, I, I apologize for my accent. No, no, uh, no, no. Do not, vous, uh, do vous not chose, apologize uh, for your accent. Vous, vous avez pas de choses pour, pour être uh, une apologie. Oh, thank you lui, so much. Lui, 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 uh, lui que vous avez parlé. Ma'am, uh, uh, again, uh, it's not you. I just do not understand your language. So it's please, when you work on your English English. and you'd like okay. to come back, I'd it's be happy to try and talk off. with you. Until then, you're going to need some, an would interpreter. Somebody this, would somebody tell this pork-headed jagoff that it's not a language, it's an accent, and all you have to do yes. is listen? Molly, would, See, you, would you tell this yes. idiot? See, Jim, she was speaking English, but unfortunately... I guess you being from the fucking backwards of Hibbley land, you're not used to hearing people with different accents. So maybe if you paid attention to what she was saying and not how she is saying it, well, you would be able um, you know to what? understand well, once, what once, she once is saying. Once they learn to speak English, we can go that she, route. But until then, she needs to was speaking English. Why don't English you interpret it for her then, Miss Molly? Oh, I understood why, every uh, word she said. Well, great. I didn't. So why don't you interpret? That's because you don't listen to people. See, That's the trouble. I listen to people all the time. I understand you tell me that I don't listen. Jim, I'm going to explain something to you. And this is a problem. Really? How do you know that? that? Now, can I stop? Let me finish. <laughs> I'm going to try. If I can well, Unfortunately, up the a lot of Americans are not used to people with different accents so what they tend to do is pay attention to the way a person is speaking and not actually what the person is saying so therefore they do not understand them so 
if you would simply pay attention to what she is saying and not how she is saying it, you will better understand her. Oh, ma'am, oh, you're, you're such a liar. You don't have a clue what the hell you're talking about. Ma'am, I was paying attention. I do not understand her. I was quite clear in my lucidation of telling her that I did that's not understand her. If she would like to work on her English and come back, that's great. You don't even speak English. So far, you've dropped letters off of two words. Batman, you don't, Jim, you don't get to dictate who comes in here based on how they sound. Because everybody, uh, you know, I didn't say I was. Say, you know what? I don't you didn't say I was dictating anything. Yeah. To what I was saying for you, Mr. Batman, and I will try to speak very slow so you can understand. Uh, what I was saying is that she says that life can cannot come from another thing that life. Uh, be, um, uh, because of the theory you 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 quote, but uh, even if uh, the theory is true, uh, you know that matter, matter, uh, the, the atom, the energy, the mass. Where Matter. does it come from? You don't know uh, where does it come from. So uh, you see, you say uh, we don't know uh, where uh, does life uh, cr come from, but you don't know neither uh, where does uh, where does my look. I, you know, I, I I'm getting a headache trying to listen to you. I know where it comes from because God Ooh, created everything, friend. and that's where it comes from. But let me ask you a question. Oh, you're you're saying really because sure. we've never. You're Through saying that hell. because that's all we've ever seen. We cannot know. That it, life can't come just by spontaneously exploding Rats into existence. Each but actually, what we observe in the scientific world is not based on what we do not see. It's based on what we can observe. Patterns observed oh, in God. nature repeatedly and exclusively without contradiction. And that pattern observed in nature is, again, called the natural law of biogenesis. Life only comes from life. Also, we have a natural law of information, that information only comes from an infinite designer. Somebody want, to tell, want to tell somebody want to tell Batman that God's technically not alive? <laughs> it's so crude. Uh, Mademoiselle, uh, le mot que tu utilises uh, matière, en anglais, uh, ça veut prononcer matter. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Vous avez été uh, uh, enchanté. My French now, is now everybody's going to make. Now everybody's going to use all their French. Ooh, oh, I heard some of the short legs. That is funny. Frog legs, yeah. baguettes. Am I speaking French now? Yeah, French fry. Right? 